Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about uh, another disease in the pregnancy that is viral hepatitis. It's a very important thing for a pregnancy. All we know that there are five viruses that cause hepatitis. That is from A, B, C, D and E. Let's start from the A. Mm, okay, the hepatitis A virus is transmitted to the fecal oral root. Okay. It is a perinatal transmission that is rare in kind of A hepatitis. It's also not teratogenic and there is no chronic state. It is self-limited. How you diagnose? You got the antibodies against HIVs. And what you do? You do antibodies. Antibodies, uh, when the exposure is there, you can give uh, antibodies, immunoglobulins and then vaccine. The vaccine also can be given in the pregnancy. It's not an active vaccine. So, the A virus is not a very big problem for pregnancy. The problem is a B virus. The B virus has a parental root, also sexual contact and breast milk. All these things can transmit the virus. Okay. Now, uh, just like other torch infections, HBV virus is not teratogenic per se. But why it is not teratogenic? Because when the, there is a organogenesis in the first trimester, the B virus is not transmitted. That's why. But what the problem HBV causes? It causes liver failure, fulminant hepatitis and liver carcinoma. These all things can happen in HBV. Now as you can see, the fetal transmission is in first trimester is 10% and third trimester is 90%. So you can see that the graph is increasing with the gestational age. So, neonatal transmission can also occur around the birth with the secretions. Now, what happens when the hepatitis B virus is exposure? So, assume that 100 people get infected this with this hepatitis B virus. 85 to 90 percent patient actually cause full recovery. So, they are fully recovered from the virus. No chronic state, no active state, nothing. But 10 to 15 percent have a chronic infection. And this chronic infection people will have further cirrhosis and carcinoma, hepatic carcinoma in their further life. One percent of these cases have fulminant hepatitis. And that is very severe. Now, what is the diagnosis? How we make the diagnosis? The HB, uh, first of all, the very basic thing is HB as antigen. Okay. When the HB C antigen is also present, it causes the high infectivity. IgM against HB C antibody is also a good marker. And at the end, very definitive is HBV DNA, which, which defines the infectivity. So, HBV DNA is a very important test. Now, if we got a mother, if, if we got an infant that is delivered to a HBS AG positive mother, that is very common in general scenario. What we have to do? We have to treat the infant. After immediate birth, we need to give the infant HBV vaccine plus immunoglobulin within 12 hours. And hepatitis B vaccine doses are repeated after one and six months. Hepatitis B is not a contraindication of the mil uh, breast milk per se because uh, breast milk is a very important, very important food for the infant. For this minor problem, we cannot risk the infant for another formula fluids. Uh, so we can make them continue to go on the breast milk. Now, this C, hepatitis C virus is also a notorious hepatitis virus. It has a both root, parental and fecal root, but the mainly established root is a parental root. Uh, why it is notorious? Because it causes chronic active hepatitis, you know. It's a chronic state. Chronic carrier state is there. You cannot get rid of HCV very easily and this causes further hepatic carcinoma, cirrhosis and everything. So, HCV is a very, very slow poison kind of virus. Now, we are not discussing a D virus here because it's not very important for a few of the pregnancy. Let's discuss hepatitis E virus. 
hepatitis e virus is not notorious but it is a very severe virus so the chances of fulminating hepatitis are very very high in case of hepatitis e infection although parental transmission is not not very common it is uncommon but still hepatitis e is not a good virus what is the purpose of this video is to know uh, the different kind of viruses hepatitis viruses for a pregnancy you can get the overview of all these viruses again you can read deeply with uh, in your textbooks so for now this is all about virus thank you